there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are going to be tackling our master suite, meaning both the bedroom as well as the bathroom. To be honest, this room I've let kind of just, it's gotten carried away. <laughs> we had Aubrey's birthday and our bedroom is kind of like a dump all for things. When Juan decides to clean, he moves all of the objects into our room and then I have to go ahead and actually organize them and put them away. It's just kind of the method that we've, you know, embraced I guess and so on this day I have to be honest I was in a total rut I felt frumpy and super unmotivated but I knew that like this had to get done and when I'm feeling that way when I'm feeling super frumpy I'm not eager to jump in front of the camera and film things to motivate anyone else because I just feel so unmotivated but I wanted to be extra transparent with you guys and just hopefully my <laughs> battling my depression and getting up and doing this despite how I was feeling I'm hoping that it can motivate you guys to do something that you've been pushing off or you've been really struggling with because honestly filming this video as simple as it is was difficult for me like I said, I'm not super eager to film things when I'm feeling in a rut, and I've been feeling in a rut for a really long time. So I appreciate your guys' support, and I hope that this motivates you to, again, tackle something you've been putting off. But I would like to thank Yasonic for sponsoring this portion of today's video and sending us this three-tiered rolling cart. This cart, when assembled, is 32 inches tall and 18.1 inches wide, can rotate 360 degrees and hold up to 33 pounds. The product came nicely packaged and was very easy to assemble. First, I put the provided rods through the sleeves of the fabric baskets and then inserted the rectangular bases to make the baskets more sturdy. Then I assembled the metal side pieces and attached them to the baskets using the provided screws and washers. Finally, I attached the wheels. I'm still debating to, on where exactly I plan to use the cart as I have many places to still organize. It fits nicely in our pantry for extra food storage possibly, or it could go in our laundry room. But for now, I'm going to keep it in our bedroom, and I think I may end up organizing Aubrey's homeschool books and supplies on the cart so that I can eventually roll it out to indicate that it's school time and then roll it back to put it away and let Aubrey just go on and play. You can also use this product in a nursery to organize a diaper changing station or in a toy or craft room. So again, I'd like to thank Yasonic for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I will place the link to the product down below in the description box if you want to get one of these three tiered rolling carts for yourself or a loved one. Now let's go ahead and finish tidying and cleaning our master suite. Time stops when I'm falling for you. The world stops spinning. My head is spinning too. Time stops when I'm falling for you. So this area is one where Juan and I have different expectations of how it looks. I obviously want it to be organized, but I like to have like my toothbrush and floss and all of that stuff kind of out so that I see it and remember <laughs> to take care of my body. And Juan, on the other hand, like wants everything to be cleared and like have nothing on the countertops. So let me know down below in the comments like what you prefer. Would you rather have your toothbrush? paste and toothbrush in a drawer so that every time you brush your teeth you have to open up the drawer and take it out or do you leave it on the countertops let me know down below in the comments Does your world stop spinning? Does your 
So kind of unrelated, but kind of related, I guess. You know, as I said, I'm super frumpy in this video, feeling super unmotivated. And it reminded me of like a hate comment that I recently got on my channel. It was on like a Dollar Tree tooth whitening update video. And someone came on that video to say, when your sex appeal is at 0%. And I'm like, first of all, who goes to a teeth whitening update video for sex appeal? Second of all, who feels like that's an appropriate thing to say? And I don't know, I'm because I'm a words of affirmation person, comments like that do hurt. I kind of shake it off because it's just so out there that it's just kind of like I'm gonna just roll my eyes and try to move past it. Plus, it kind of makes me feel like I'm actually a true YouTuber now. You know, if I'm getting hate comments, that must mean something, <laughs> even though my channel still is relatively small. But I can't help but think about that comment when I'm feeling so frumpy and so down on myself lately. I don't know, I, I just kind of felt the need to vent about that to you guys. I feel like, you know, those of you guys who are regular watchers and continue to come back and support me have like my best interest in your hearts as well. And like, I don't know, I just, I feel so much support for from you guys who come back and watch all of my videos and comment, you know, um, words of affirmation. It just really means a lot, especially with how I've been feeling. So as I'm putting the rugs back in front of our shower and bathtub, I know that it's not like perfectly symmetrical with the shower, but I know that like when you open the door, you're gonna be stepping out like not right in the middle of like where the door is. Usually it's towards like the most outer opening of the door. So I'm like still debating, do I want it to look nice here or do I want it to be like functional and logical? But that is something that I am kind of debating on in this phase. But we are wrapping up today's video. I hope that, you know, me ranting or just venting to you guys can still kind of spark something in yourself for reflection or growth. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.